Well, I'm Frank Davis, and what I'm best known for is discovering a technology that allowed essentially a new uh, family of drugs. There aren't many of us who can say that they've cured a disease, but my father has. He is a man who had a vision, who executed on his vision. Frank's training in molecular biology at Cal was very important. He had the right background to pick up on, on the utility of biological products, particularly proteins, as drugs. There were a number of biological materials which, in theory, would make excellent drugs. Problem is, the body wouldn't accept them. Proteins, whether they're from animals or from people, cause the body to make antibodies. If you can shield them from the immune system, then the proteins can still function and do their therapeutic job without provoking an immune response. As I recall, it was over two months of every day in the library. You know, honey, 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 honey. Finally, a eureka moment. I popped open a medical journal and they, a couple of MDs injected polyethylene glycol attached to something that circulated in the blood and circulatory system caused no problems. It was a friendly polymer. Pegylation takes the inert molecule polyethylene glycol and coats a biological molecule, an enzyme or protein, in a little cocoon so that the body's immune system does not see it as a foreign substance. The peg is like the bubble wrap that keeps the molecule safe and functioning in the human body. We publicized, patented this new technology, but the drug companies paid no attention. It must have been very disheartening to him when the pharmaceutical industry said, oh, that's not something we can see a hope for developing products out of in the future. And so he said, well, then let's do it ourselves. A member of the uh, Rutgers administration said, Frank, you might start a little company and, and uh, maybe that'll wake up the big boys. At that time, it was really very unusual for a university professor to get involved in a commercial operation, especially founding a new company. I think that he was very much committed to the possibility of helping patients, especially uh, if you look at the early drugs that his company worked on. Bubble boy disease, otherwise known as SCID, Severe Combined Immunodeficiency Disease, is a genetic form of AIDS. Children who are born with this have no immune system, and so the common cold can kill them. This drug provided complete remission of the disease, and the children were able to go on and lead normal lives. This made news. Also, it seemed to wake up the chemical giants. <laughs> Amgen and Roche and Genentech began noticing pegylation and the process has mushroomed and today accounts for over seven billion dollars in sales worldwide. The range of diseases that can be treated with pegylated drugs is enormous. Multiple sclerosis, the field of gout in which we work, and many different types of cancer. Pegylation was a idea out of left field and yet it worked. The kind of university environment that can allow imagination to be honored is the kind that can produce results that can help literally millions of people. At least I've demonstrated what a Cal education could do for me and mankind.